Father, we thank you for the reading of the word of God. We are grateful that this is the day the Lord has made. As we share of this word, we pray for much deeper revelation that we need for the sake of deliverance of our lives. After we get this revelation of God, we pray that we will walk in dominion and in freedom of the realms of the spirit and the real life realms of life. We pray for a sound mind and the spirit of relevance in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Give Jesus a better hand clap. I want to talk about the flow of the curse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the question I want to ask you is this. Could you be cast and you don't know? Let me tell you. However much you pray. If you don't attack what is eating you. If you don't pray in revelation. What is eating you shall take you to the grave even when you are still born again. And if you are cast, what is the source of the curse? What is the kind of the curse upon you? What do you do for you to be able to come out of the curse? Now before I continue, let me confirm to you that you are cursed. I'm telling you the truth, you are cast. Now today, I may not lay my hands on you. But after I give you this revelation, that curse shall break in Jesus' name. You will go and prosper in the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 49. The Bible says right from verse 1. Then Jacob summoned his children. And he summoned them and told them, I want to tell you of what shall befall you. This is her father. Instead of telling them, I want to bless you, he is simply telling them, Come so that I may tell you of what shall befall you. In other words, he wants to bless them, but he's not confident enough also to bless them because of some certain happenings. But these happenings in their life are what are attracting a curse upon them. In a and some of these curses they are based on the character lifestyle things to do with the attitude as we continue I'll be mentioning them in other words you will qualify the blessing if you fit into my conditions. Now he begins. Ruben, you are my firstborn. The child of my youth. You are the head of the list. In the rank and in honor. Look at those adjectives, ladies and gentlemen. But you are unruly as the wild waves of the seas as the waters of the sea and you shall fast no longer I am demoting you because you slept with one of my wives and thus dishonored me you defiled my bed Simeon and Levi you are Two of a kind. They are men of violence. And you are men of injustices. My soul shall stay away from you. May I never be a part to what you do. Because what you do is wickedness of its kind. For in your anchor. You murdered a man. Just be your anchor. For it is fierce and cruel. Therefore, 
Kwa hivyo I will scatter your descendants. Nitatawanya kizazi chenu. Another curse. Lana ingine. Everybody is being passed here. Kila mtu analani wapi. Now listen to me Judah. Nisikize wewe Yuda. Your brothers shall praise you. Ndugu zangu katakusifu. You shall destroy your enemies. Utaribu maadui wako. Your father's sons shall bow before you. Wana wana wa baba yako watanyenyekea chini yako. Judah is a young lion. Yuda ni simba mdogo that has finished eating its prey. Ambaye amemaliza kula nyama ya mdogo wake. Set to town. Ameketi kitako. Nobody shall pair you. Hakuna atakaye mtukusongesha. For you are glorious. Kwa sababu wewe una utukufu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now look at this ladies and gentlemen. Angalia wapendwa. I read this once. Soma maneno haya. Exactly as they come from the mouth of Jacob. Bila shida toka katika kinywa ya Yakobo. He is aged. Yeye ameseka. And as an old man, kama mtu mzee, you don't go to the grave with your blessings. Awendi kwa kaburi na baraka zako. You need to bless your children. Unahitaji kubariki watoto wako. Now he has called his children. Ameita watoto wake. Not so that he may bless them. Ili kwamba kaweza kubariki. But that he may speak a fortune. If you listen to Jacob very well, you will notice that he's not blessing his children. He is wishing them well. He is not confident enough to bless. Even to Judah, the one he is sounding like he's blessing, I'll prove to you that he didn't bless him. He just spoke to him as a fortune. That he may be fortunate. He has told him of what shall be for him. The good things that shall come. He is making him you know, glorious in a manner anamfanya awe na utukufu kiwa mtulani hata kama hata kwa mfalme but his brothers shall bow and upon him ndugu zake watamwinamia na look at this angalia hii haleluya haleluya the flow of a curse utiririko wa laana this ones are attracting a curse upon their lives inafutia laana juu ya maisha yao because of little things like anger kwa mambo ndogo kama hasira little things like violence kama ukali little things like theft hii kama wizi zibia like a light time limi nao utangadanganya haleluya haleluya it is attracting a curse inafutia laana just like a pastor asking you kama mtugaji akuli why didn't you come to church mbona ukuja kanisa because i didn't get any report from you kwa sababu sikupata hujuma wote kutoka kwako you told me unamtanganya and say pastor i had a family meeting that i could not avoid na nilikuwa na ni mkutano wa kifamilia but you don't reveal it to me mungu weza dirisha kwako you have already received a curse kwa sababu dhahari wewe umepokea laana some of us are suffering in life wengine wetu tunateseka maisha because of the curses we collect from the old kwa sababu ya laana tunakusanya kutoka kwa baba not have eaten you waenda mimi sitakuja you told me the truth kama ungeniambia ukweli na i want to prove to you nataka kukuhakikishia these things are attracting a curse baba hayo yote yanafutia laana but it is not beginning from here lakini hansi hapa these things are just attracting it baba hayo yanafutia tu but there is a real source of a curse kuna chanzo alisia ya laana it began in the garden of eden ilianza katika bustani la eden from the man by the name adam kwa mwanaume maana aitwa adamu the first born of god au msale wa kwanza wa mungu and the question becomes swali inaanza why first born mbona msale wa kwanza it began in eden ilianza da eden the first born of god kwa msale wa kwanza wa mungu the name is adam jina lake ni adam adam has given us kain adam amepatia kain and abel na abel two children were growing to watoto wengi wanao kwa katika hali ya usalama kwa hakuna shida baina yao adam is not willing to cast them adam ayuko tayari kulani adam received a curse from god adam akapokea laana kutoka kwa mungu na somebody is not getting me now utanipatie everybody look at me now utaniangalia sasa he received a curse from god akapokea laana kutoka kwa mungu na he is toiling sasa nangangana but he is careful enough lakini amepokea not sana. to cast his children asilani watoto wake he wake. loves them anawapenda haleluya haleluya these two sons hao wana wawili they don't know what it means by a curse hawajui nini maana ya laana but look at what is happening lakini angalia kile kilichotokea the chotete. time has come wakati umefika because the curse is already received released in the system kwa sababu laana imetolewa imetolewa tayari it is hovering in the system ina iko pale na tendeka and looking for a place upon which it can land na tafuta mahali ambapo itaweza Tua. So it lands on Cain. Inatua kwa Kaini. The first born of Adam. Mzale wa kwanza wa Adam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first born of God with Adam was cast. 
Mzaliwa wa kwanza wa Mungu ambaye ni Adamu amelaaniwa. By God. Na Mungu mwenyewe. Now the first one of Adam is getting cast. Mzaliwa wa kwanza wa Adamu na yeye anapokaaniwa. The very cast. Kwa laana ile ile. That is existing in the realms of the spirit. Ambayo inadumu katika anga ya kiroho. Adam. Adamu was cast for disobedience. Alilaaniwa kwa kutotii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Adam is cast for disobedience. Adam analaaniwa kwa kutotii. But Kai but Kaini is being cast for murder. Ye analaaniwa kwa kwa kuwa. It is the same set cast. Ilaana ile ile ile. Of disobedience. Ya kutotii. But now, lakini sasa he is blindfolded. Ye anafunikwa macho. Because if it manifests itself on Kain as disobedience, kwa sababu ikidhirika katika Kain kama kutotii, atajua that it is a cast that is eating his father. Kwa maana ilaana inakula wewe. He rebuke it. Na ataikemea. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. Your way. It is a shadow of the reality that is eating you. The devil knows if he brings the reality, you will know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. So that he brings a shadow so that you take too much time. You think you are pension of the shadow instead of working for the original. When you are today, you are investing in alternatives. Not knowing that there are originals hidden behind the walls. There are people who are married to alternative husbands. Alternative wives. Alternative relationships. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the same curse. I want you to see how the curse is flowing. It is manipulating. It is manipulating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you see, Adam has not cast any of his children. It is a curse already in the system. Now let us assume we have forgotten Cain and deal with Abel. God replaces Abel by bringing Seth. Whom we would always call a holy seed. Now we have forgotten Abel and Kai. Let us measure on the steps. After very many of the generations, we have come to receive Noah, which is the seed of God. God says, I want to renew my covenant through this man Noah to purify the earth. And he brings the floods. They clear off everybody. Now we are left with the remnants. And the pastor of the remnants is Pastor Noah. In the church we call the ark. Hallelujah. Somebody flowing with me. Somebody flowing with me. If we don't flow with me, you will not understand what is it. Hallelujah. Now look at Noah. He is a pastor. Of the church of the Ark of the Covenant. But when he comes out, this man violates the covenant by drunkenness. Began on disobedience. It has flown to murder. Now it has flown to ulevi. Hallelujah. Drunkenness. Ulevi. Nilaana ile moja tu imetokana na nini? Na disobedience. Na mungu wa mekwambia, ukitaka kushinda hizi laana zote, anawambia wana wa Israeli, if you will be obedient enough, kama utakuwa wakuti, in the land which I am taking you, kwa nchi ama unina kupeleka, I will bless your water. I will bless your food. We are coming, isn't it? I want you to know there is a problem here on disobedience. Now it is manifesting itself to Noah as drunkenness, which has exposed his nakedness to his firstborn son by the name Ham. Someone we expect to be apparent over the other siblings. Now, the father has violated the covenant which has exposed her to a curse. But we bless the name of God because the Bible says Ham 
Um, when his father cast him, the curse did not touch him. Because he had been blessed of God. I desire that you are blessed of God. No man can curse you. Oh, yes. It can never work on you. Amen. I desire if there is anything you must desire in life, that you can get to be blessed by God. Sometimes we desire that we get to be blessed by our parents. But let me tell you, they fail to be genuine. Exactly as we will see it in this structure here. Flow with me. Now the Bible says, when he noticed that the curse could not touch him, he cast the son of him, who is his grandson, by the name of Canaan. So, in other words, if you are blessed of God, you have to work out and ensure that the seed of your own is also blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God you overcame the warfare and the sins of your forefathers. But if you are not careful, what your forefathers did, it is yet to manifest itself in the fruit of your womb. They are yet to be drunkards. Yet you are not a drunkard. The problem is just that eh? when you broke the covenant, you failed to make an new covenant. Uh, 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 uh. That is the mistake most of us make. When we break a covenant, we just live and howl. Not knowing that we have to make a new covenant. Another mistake we make in life, when many people break a covenant, they also fail to break the effects of a covenant. Because every covenant when broken, it comes with side effects. Yes, pray that God forgave for you. And he forgave you, Priscilla. When you did that sin. But you forgot to pray that God heals you from the effects. Wana tenda dhambi. Na bade kutenda dhambi, wana tubu, wana samehewa diyo. Lekini bade kusamehewa, bado wanapigwa kwa maisha wanafikiria ni Mungu anawapiga kumbe hapana kila agano linapovunjika kuna kuanga na hatari za kuivunja ambazo zinamwandama yule mtu ambaye kuna magani amelivunja kwa hivyo unapaswa kufanya magani pia kuvunja hatari za hilo agano how is blessed ama imbarikiwa but his son is getting cast lakini mwanaye anaona innocently pasipo kujua he doesn't qualify to get it acha itimisha kupata hilo but it's landing on him lakini inatua mtu yake because it was released in the system kwa sababu ile chini wakati kama utiriko this boy is getting cast innocently huyo mtoto analaniwa pasipo kujua you could be cast wewe wewe umelaniwa you you are wasting time fighting the wachawi of your blessing unapoteza wakati kupigana na wachawi wako how i pray that god gives you the revelation to know what is it and it is happening to the factibles. Let us forget Canaan now. And come back to Abraham. Let me tell you. Abraham violated the covenant. Abraham And I want to prove it to you. God has a plan. Mungu akona mpango through Abraham Abraham to establish his kingdom on earth. And he tells Abraham, I'm calling you out of your people. Nakuita kutoka ndani ya watu wako. Bless that I will show you. Kuja kwa mahali ambapo utakuonyesha. I want to work with you. Nataka kutenda na wewe. Come up with my own. So God made a covenant with Abraham. So in the very process, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham, Abraham breaks the covenant. God had promised to bless him. Now he takes his house girl and wife. Of the name Hagar. It was not the will of God. Six, seven things that God hates. They attract what? A curse. One of them is a lying tongue. Lying. Tafadhali kama uko hapa na unanidanganyanga, Mungu akukombee. Mimi nimekusamea. Kombolewa. Through that Abraham has violated the covenant. Kupitia hiyo Ibrahimu amefunja agano. Now look at this. Angalia hii. When you violate the covenant. Wakati unafunja agano. Hallelujah. 
you malfunction the will of God upon your life. You start living a life of alternatives. Now, he has slept with Hagar and he has given as his firstborn Ishmael. Ishmael is the firstborn. Now, who is the son of the promise? Isaac. Isaac. Hallelujah. We have said the problem was what? Kutoti. And it came to murder. And it has come to Drunk. drunkenness. Now it has come to polygamy and lying tongue. And a lying tongue. Now it is revealing itself somewhere. Now look at this. Hallelujah. Amen. Abraham has not cast Ishmael. Ibrahim Ajalani Ishmael. And he has not cast Isaac. Isaac. But there is an element of hatred. Ya chuki. Among the two now. Abayo na chichenga katiyao. Wapendo wachenu ambie. La ana tiari iko katika anka ya kiroho. Inatafuta tu ufanya kamuzaha kidogo katika ukovu wako. Ilandi chuyo yako. Sasa we haujazini kama huyo mtu mkine mtu wa mungu Felix. Lakini kuna tuka kitu umefanya kamefanyika mbolea ya iyo la ana. So unashidwa na hii maisha kwa nini ya kwa hivi? kumbe kuna kitu katika anga ya kiroho kimelandi juu yako na haujui. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Sasa hapa imekuja kudhihirika kupitia kwa hatred. Sasa wewe kama Mkristo Priscilla unashinda kwa ibada kwa kesha usiku mzima ukiombea roho ya nini? Ya hatred itoke katikati mwana wa yako, katikati mwa familia yako. Kumbe shida hata sio hatred, shida iko wapi? Kwa disobedience. Umeona mali problem imeanza. Kule juu kabisa. Leo tunataka twende kwa mzizi before you start reacting on it. Kabla ujaanza kukumbana na yeye. Seek to know. Tafuta kujua if the hand of God is in it. Kiwa mkono wa Mungu kopa. This boy is being excommunicated from home. Oyo mtu huyu mkijana anapofukuzwa kutoka nyumbani. He is being separated from his father. Anatengwa na baba yake. Some of you are separated from your parents. Wengine wenu mnatengwa na wazazi wao. How much you are showing up supporting them? Hata kama ukisema na wakati zingine. They already left you. Walikuacha kitambo. You are no longer of their heart. Auko kwa moyo wao. You are a puppet. Wewe uko tu kale kinyago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They forgot you. Walikusahau. They can recognize the other person. Wanaweza tambua mwingine. They sending them fifth mob in a month. Anayemtumia ndio. Then you that is sending 5k. Ambaye una watu kulipa na mara kwa mara. Naambia ukweli. They have even called your brothers and sisters. Hata wamepigia ndugu yako na dada. Without your knowledge. Pasipo na wewe. They have blessed them. Wamewabariki. And you don't know. Na ujui. Uko tu hapa Nairobi unasikia tu bro wako anakwambia eh dadi ameniambia nenda nimuone ameniambia niende na mbuzi na sijaja na mimi kama fast bond sikampiwa kitu kwani kuna sherehe ya nini ya mbuzi nyumbani kumbe Priscilla wenzako wameitwa wabarikiwe na wewe hauchui na wameambiwa msiambie so and so kwa nini mtu wa Mungu mzee Maxwell mkiwa watoto wadogo kama hawa mlikuwa mnacheza pamoja kufraiana kuprotect ukipata kimtu kimekuja kimetongoza sister yako kitajua akijui utagonya kama una protect saa hii uweze pigania sister yako saa hii uweze pigania brother yako what happened the language of hatred is somewhere ambayo ilipangwa na wazazi ulifili ya kwamba wewe kama passport umejukumika vya kutosha for your information baadhi ya hawa watoto wenu wenye wanaitwa kibarikiwa na wazazi wenu behind the walls behind your backs ni watu wewe umesomesha kimtu kimetoka western kimetoka kirinyaga kimekuja kimeishi kwa nyumba yako ni brother yako kidogo ni kisisa chako kidogo umekilea haleluya ume umefunga ume ilibidi utoke kwa hiyo nyumba ya two bedroom ndio ile unakaa ukaenda kukaa kwa single room ya mabati ndipo upate school fees ya kutosha kusomesha huyo mtu baadaye akaitwa na baba na ujui na kupatia baba kitu ya maana alimpatia sukari na baba akambariki I want to teach you how you can be blessed today. You can be blessed without their mouth. I'm telling you, you will be blessed without their mouth. Ishmael is blessed. At Abraham, I get to hang a wife with me. Because the Lord has told us that Abraham is a man who 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 ndio kwa sababu wakati Hagar alifukuzwa na mtoto wake Ishmael wakafika katika jangwa Biblia inasema chakula kikaisha maji yakaisha mtoto akagonjeka ikawa ya kwamba 
mtoto anaenda kukufa hanga akasema hii siweze kusahimile bibi anasema akamweka mtoto akaenda umbale umbali wa kutupwa nini kwa jiwe aone kifo cha mtoto wake kwa umbali maana kama mama hakukuwa na ujasiri wa kumshuhudia mtoto wake kukufa nisikilize alilia lakini Mungu hakumsaidia maana hakukuwa na agano baina yake na Mungu hata uliaje kama hakuna agano baina yako na Mungu mama Dalton ukweli ni kwamba Mungu atakushuhudia ukiteremshwa kwa kaburi na hiyo hali ndio kwa sababu ninawaambia fanyeni jitihada utengeneze agano baina yako na Mungu baina yako na uzao wa tumbo lako baina yako na ndoa yako baina yako na huduma yako katika jina la Yesu Haleluya. Biblia inasema kwamba na wakati huyu mtoto alipoachwa na mama yake kwa jiwe, akaanza kulia, biku zikafunguka. Mungu akasikia. Una mama imetokea. Kuna ile ana kwa familia yetu. Kuna ile familia ile ana ya Hetsi. Yeye kama haiko. Siku na mama msalamiani. Mimi hapa nimejaribu wangu kuwaleta pamoja tuongee. Baka niseme basi wacha. Hiyo vitu yote nikubali mimi ndio mwenye makosa sasa nifanye aje. Kamu ito. No 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 no. Amuti mdogo wewe siongeleshe watu wakubwa. Ah ah. Po. Wacha ibaki. Iko katika anga ya kero. Hawezi kujikomboa kama jamii. Unajikomboa as an individual. The things of the spirit are personal. Wa Mungu alitaka kufanya kazi na makabila kumi na mawili ya Israeli. Ya kamea pembe. Akasema mtu going to work with a group now. I'm going to make a covenant with one's heart. So we could be a family. I could be a highly respected man of God in this nation. Lakini unapata kwamba mke wangu anaenda moto. Kwa sababu haya mambo ni personal. The fact that I'm your son, mama, it doesn't really mean that you will go to heaven because I'm your pastor. I'm a pastor. You gave birth to a bishop. You will still go to heaven. Because the things of God are personal. Sasa wacha tuseme Ishmael ni begumbaya tuachana na ye. Tukuje kwa Isaac. Isaac, the seed of God in Abraham. Wana sikiwe. Isaac ya nalubatia na ni passport. Esau. Et. Twins. In a real sense, they are not twins. They are conceived the same day, yes. So, Masikia, I am your twin brother, but you will respect me. Why? I was the first one to see the sunlight. So, Nebata, I am your twin brother, yes. But when I want to do something, you must consult me. I must not consult you. Hallelujah. Now, you will say, Papa, kukawa na vita, katika tumbo la huyu mwanamke la mataifa mawili Yakobo na Nani na Esau Esau akikaribia kutoka Yakobo akashikae miguu akarudisha nyuma yeye akaenda akatokelezea akaona jua ndio akarudi ndani ndio akaacha hii jambo kwenda kwa gari kuzaliwa so hapa the first one Nani Yakobo na ndio kwa sababu kuna laana laana itatokea kwa Esau Lana yamekuja kutokea kwa nani? Kwa Yakobo. Kwa sababu yeye hadi kuwa fasbol lakini alinyakuwa nafasi ya authority ya wenyewe. Na kila nafasi inakuja na vita vyake, inakuja na changamoto zake. Na ndio kwa sababu lazima kwa bila nikubali hiyo nafasi, lazima bebe nini? Kichapo ama usito wa nini? Wa hiyo nafasi. Now this element of hatred has repeated itself. Isaac has not cast Esau. He has not cast Jacob. But the curse that is in the system it is slanted upon him. What do you understand? Amatai na amasiro oyoba mati. It is a humble way of saying whatever you are fighting Though it has manifested itself in the form of Borai, don't lay your attention on Borai. It is the plan laid down. Say out the jingle. See how we are facing. Go get out of here. 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 Go get out
Sahi ya ujolewa Siyo kamba upendi Na unawanake wanaume wanakuja wa mana Haujao wa star wanakuja wa mana But you cannot sustain one Hallelujah Because yo shosho umeitu alisipo kwa mandisi kwe Nyuma ya compound I'm telling you I want to tell you how we can bring this curse to an end You are leaving this house at three months Now Jacob Yakobo has given us 12 children. Hallelujah. Now he is old. The misfortunes are following him. The curse is following him. Number one, he is separated from Joseph, the one he loved. Number two, his wife dies. When he's giving back to Benjamin, there's other very many misfortunes. But now he is aged. In chapter 49 of the book of Genesis, he wants to bless his children, but he's finding a problem to bless them. Listen to me. The reason he's finding a problem to bless them, it is not because he wants. Something is controlling his tongue. Jacob wants to bless his children, but something in the realm of the spirit, what has been eating his forefathers, it has arrested his tongue. And instead of blessing his children, he is picking a fortune. And misfortunes. Can a father really curse his own children? But what is happening with Jacob? Something. Blood. I love that. Blood. Blood. There is something about the blood. That is in the realm of the spirit. Now, here, he comes to the firstborn who is Reuben. Reuben is the firstborn. In the lawyers and the African culture, we believe the firstborn son is given the position of a father when the father is away. In as much as you are firstborn of this house, you are a father to the rest. You take the position of a father when the father is away. So in another way, you are being punished for what Evans did. In African culture, if a father dies before he gives birth with his second wife, the second wife is given to his firstborn son as a wife so that he can take care of the children. I'm simply trying to say if we learn from them then we begin to understand the position of our firstborn son. Now look here Priscilla. Mama ako ama achana na baba ako kama mezaliwa. Mama ako akawa mze mungine. Ama akipse makawalewa na mze mungine. Uyo mze ni baba yako. In as much as anajipanga na mama yako, that one is your father. He has the authority to curse you. He did have the authority to curse you before he slept with your mother. But immediately he slept with your mother, he became your father. Isipokuwa, watoto wakwapa wasichana ivo, very soon unapona fanya arusi. Uyo manaume akileta mahari, tafadhali iende kwa baba yako original. Hata kama ni mlevi, hata kama hakuwai walea, hata kama hakuwai amukuwai muona, he is your father. Nataka ufungwe nyumba yako kutokana na hizi laana. Wasikana wetu wa kikuindu wako na ishida. Hee, wewa huko ni lea. Mutu wali ni lea ndi atakula mahari yako. Sio wewa unamua ni nani atakula mahari yako. Aa, ni binku zinamua nani atakula mahari yako. Na mutu wana paswa kukula mahari yako ni nani? Ni baba yako. Uyo baba, eh mzaka mutaku leta sadaka leto. Naona una mungu wa kubariki. Thank you. And may the Lord glorify your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Ukisikia unaguzwa leta sadaka ingine. You tap my anointing. You tap my anointing. Amen. Nisikiliza misuri mtu wa mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Unaharibu nyumba ya watoto wako wakati unapokula mahali ya 
watoto wako kwa huyo mwanaume uliye naye na unajua vizuri ulimzaa hao watoto kwa baba mwingine huyo mtoto ulimzaa kwa upendo mlikuwa mnapendana na huyo mwanaume ndio ukazaa huyo mtoto ambapo mmekosana ndio ukazaa he is a product of love kwa nini sasa amekuwa mkubwa mnamtenganisha na baraka yake i think i need time to talk about love yes peleka mahari kwa mtu wa Mungu mama mama gracious najua yale ambayo unapitia lakini mahari ya Umu Sichana ipelekwe kwa baba yake akikataa tumeni ya my wife nilipeleka kwa the right father sometimes si mzuri but peleka mama na fili ni mimi nimeelea ni mimi nimesomesha ni mimi nimefanya kila kitu na mama atakupatia haki yako lakini kitu kinaitwa mahari kienda to the right place sasa nilikuwa naambia hivi kama baba yako amewahi lala na house guard wewe na wewe ukaenda ukajipanga na wewe house guard ulilala na mama yako ndio shida imepata kweli na kalaniwa na lala na inaitwa unstability hakuna kitu mtu anafanyanga kinapata msingi hakisimami ndoa anapiwa you will be unstable in all your ways exactly as the waters of the sea chochote anajaribu akisimami hata kipendana na wana wazimu wana wazimu anatoka do you have such people in your family and may God glorify your life brother Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have such people in your family? Or is this thing existing somewhere in your life? No, no, be confident, be confident. I'm finishing it for you. We are bringing it to an end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us forget about Ruben. Come together, brothers of Ruben, whose name are Levi and Simeon. You can get to understand much about Levi and Simeon in the book of Genesis chapter 34. Utaelewa sana kuhusu Yes right up. Katika mwanzo cha 34 na nne kuna shida kubwa ambayo inapata hawa watu wawili. There are two of the 12 sons of Jacob. Ni wawili wa wale 10 na wawili wa Yakobo. The Bible says. Leo sema Jacob had a daughter by the name Dina. Yakobo hapo na msichana ambaye anaitwa Dina. Geshem raped Dina. Geshem akaona kisi Dina. Haleluya. Haleluya. And then Levi and Simeon were furious. Na Levi na Simeon wakawa wanauma. So they wanted to revenge. Geshem apologized. Lakini Geshem akaambia kwamba and he told his father who is whose name is Hamor. Akaambia baba kama ni Hamor to go and apologize on behalf of him to Jacob the father of Dina. Akaenda kaombe radhi kwa baba ya Dina baada ya Yakobo. And he told him na mwambie I'm willing to pay the price. Niko tayari kulipa gharama. Kulipa mahali. And take the girl that I have defined for a wife. Nichukue huyo binti ambaye mnajisi kuwa mke wangu. Which Jacob accepted. Ba Yakobo alikubali. Because when they ask for forgiveness we can we must forgive. Kwa sababu wakati unapoomba msamaha tunawasaidia. Jacob saw it a right thing. Yakobo akawa ni jambo zuri. Two of the sons of Jacob. Lakini watoto wake wa Mungu. Levi and Simeon. Levi na Simeon. They they did like the idea. Hawakupenda hiyo hiyo mambo. So they cheated Hamor. Wakatanganya Hamor. The father to Geshem. Baba wa Geshem who had raped Dina. Ambaye alikuwa mnajisi Dina. They told him. Wakamwambia if we have to accept your apology. Ikiwa tukubali kuradhi yako. You must tell the people of your land. Lazima wambie watu wa nje yako. To get circumcised. Waweze kutahiriwa. Because we cannot allow our daughters. Boys wangi bitu. To get married to someone who is not circumcised. Na watu wa so Hamor went to his land. Hamor akaenda kwa nje yake. And he told his people. Na akambia watu wake. He said to me my people. Nisikize watu wa Mungu. If this people of Israel they are good. I want to Israel was only. Let us meet God with them. Wacha tutengamane na wao. Let us accept to their terms. Wacha tukubaliane na wao. So that we can relate with them. Ili kutukahusiana na wao. They just want us to get circumcised. Wacha sisi tutaelewe. Then they will forgive us of the sin of my son. Ili watusamee dhambi ya They also want us to get circumcised. Wacha pia tutaelewe. So that we can marry their daughters. Ili tukaoe binti zao. Give them our daughters. Ili tuwapatie hata binti zetu. So people believe. Watu wakaamini. Men all the men. Wote wanaume wote they got circumcised. Wakaenda wakatahiriwa. Not 
not knowing it was the idea of Simeon and Levi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. because when you are circumcised you are sick so that when all the men are weak they can't get in and kill them that is what they did while all the men had been circumcised Levi and Simeon two sons they took the spurs they got into Nyanza sorry it was not Nyanza they got into that land they killed all the men the name of Jacob got destroyed because it was said the children of Jacob they killed our men so Jacob cast them because of the spirit of anger has attracted a curse upon Levi and Simeon. We cannot finish everything here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But this thing has been flowing. And flowing. And flowing. And flowing. The Bible says, Cast be your anchor. If you are careful enough, you can realize uh, 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 Jacob cast the act. So every given time they get angry, they attract the curse of their father upon them. Can you overcome anger as a ministry in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Because out of the anchor, out of the anchor, you can know a man. Thank you. God bless you. And may this portion of the grace attracted upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You are wondering and asking yourself a question. What is happening with you? And with your family. With the firstborns. With where you come from. With your husband. He may not be here. But these things are eating him. You are wasting a lot of time, Priscilla. Praying about anger, praying about hatred, praying about polygamy and, and, and a lying tongue, drunkenness, murder, and such things. When in a real sense, this curse can be broken when you come back to what? Can we obey the Lord? He said, if you shall obey me, if you shall obey me, and be careful enough to observe the, the purpose of God, receive it in Jesus' name. Your deliverance upon you. If you can be obedient, stand up on your feet. If you can be obedient, and be careful enough to watch my Lord. When my Lord is love one another. Worship the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength. I will bless your water. I will bless your food. I will bless your marriage. The issue don't waste the time on what people are measuring on. Stop praying about marriage. Stop praying about peace. He says I am the Prince of Peace, just worship me, ni obey me ni in your tithe, in your yenu. offering. Kwa there are people in this church Kuna watu who don't homo. give tithe. I feel that a curse shall not be upon you. You have already disobeyed. Have you obeyed the blessings of the Lord Baraka that comes with the tithe? They would have followed you. Had you obeyed and worshipped the Lord, you would have blessed your water. Some of your children are destined to take water and they are healed. They breathe the air. 
the reason why they are getting cast is because the covenant is being broken. I want us to break the covenant. And we break the side effects of the covenant. You have been seeing these things as I've been mentioning them. Like tank. It brought a curse on you. You cheated even your pastor. That you had not been paid. So you refused to pay the tank. You stole from the Lord. Violence. Anchor. Azira. Negative attitude. Evil lifestyle. Katika maisha ambayo mtindo wa kwanza baya. Ulika baya. A lot of things. Mengi mother, mengi 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 uwaje. You devise evil in your heart. Unapanga maovu katika moyo wako. That's that's why you are unstable today. Ndio sababu unaisha unaulishwa sasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to break the covenant of the sins we did. Nataka tufunje maagano ya dhambi tuliyosotenda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sins we did. You may not have talked about somebody But your failure to support the work of God It is sinfully enough To attract these things before you You can go to your knees if you can And pray God I pray you Forgive me of these sins Deliver me out of this I break this covenant That has existed between me and my forefathers life from the onset of Adam who is Adam the source of the sin the cause of the curse upon my life that has been eating me and I was confused by the devil to lay my attention on the blood thinking that it is the generational issue so I am fighting the wachawis of my place I am fighting my aunts I am fighting my guka when it really says what is it Killing me. Adam is the root cause. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, have mercy on me. Purify me again. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. That wicked, bitter things. That the blood of Abel. Deliver me, Jehovah. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I break every curse. That is as a result of this sin. That befell me. That I am not prosperous today. I am not at peace today. My man is not stable. I am being controlled by anger. I cannot hold myself together. My hands are poor. They cannot make profit. My ministry is poor. It has refused to grow. My level of the anointing is damaged. I pray to your God. Have mercy on me. And heal me from this life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to glorify my life. And make a new covenant for yourself. Make a new covenant with yourself. Make a new covenant. Make a new covenant for yourself, for your marriage, for your children, for your academics, for your ministries. In the name of Jesus. Break the covenant. You can choose and say, I choose to be obedient. I will obey you. Your word. 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 Your
Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.